Hi, my name is George Elder, and I'm the president and operator of Adonai Software. Hello, and welcome back. During this block of training, we'll be adding a third party control to Iron Speed Designer. And just to let you know, uh, it's very easy to take a third party control and import it into Iron Speed Designer. For this one, we'll be using the Dev Express uh, Data Grid View. Here are some of the things that we're going to use uh, to import this application into Iron Speed Designer. First, we're going to be using Iron Speed Designer uh, version 9.1, Developer Express uh, version 12.1, the latest and the greatest, and we're going to be using the ASPX uh, Data Grid View, which is the Data Grid View control that we're going to import into Iron Speed Designer. We're going to also use Visual Studios and or you can use the Microsoft Visual Web Developer Express 2010 which I'm going to use because it's a lot easier to bring up Visual Studios 2010 is a little bit memory hog, especially the, uh, the ultimate. And the last thing we're going to use is the SQL Server 2008 database. Let's move on to the demonstration of this uh, session. First, I created a Iron Speed Designer application and I named it the Customers Demo. And within that application, um, I use the Softwind database and I connected it uh, and created uh, a set of customers. We go back to the page. Uh, I also created a page called Customer Grid. And within the Customer Grid, I have uh, the grid view uh, control from Developer Express. And as you noticed, uh, it sits in the, uh, the cell editor. And that's where you need to put um, that control. First off, I want to point out the web config, and it's kind of important that you understand the web config. Number one, the web config will have um, built in, say, references uh, to Developer Express. Now, you can do this within uh, Visual Studios or uh, the Developer Express very easily, and I'll show you that later. Well, uh, one of the things that it creates a section group and it names it uh, Developer Express and it controls the themes, the compression, the settings and errors. And as you continue down in the connection string, make sure that the connection string points to your database, as mine does. Uh, continuing down, a couple more important things that you need to bring over. You need to make sure you bring over all the assemblies that are required for Developer Express. As you create a Developer Express uh, application or website and you use the developer, and we'll see that later, uh, as you create that, it puts in the, the, the appropriate assemblies uh, for the Developer Express, as well as the controls. And it names the, it gives the tag prefix of DX, which is the Developer Express. But you can see that all the namespaces and assemblies are there. And the next thing is, as you come down, this is kind of important too, is the Developer Express will place a HTTP, or HTTP handler module with the appropriate version in there, as well as an upload control And last, it will put uh, between uh, Developer Express tags, um, things for your uh, theme, and callback, resource enable, and the resource merging. And the right to left, if you turn it on or not, and the callback error direction URL if you like to put in URL there when it 
an error occurs, it will redirect to your URL. For now, that's it. Let's move on to the Visual Studios or the Developer uh, Web Developer Express. Here, I created an application, and the first thing I want to talk about is the web config. And if you look at the web config, it's pretty much the same as it is in IronSpeed, except it doesn't have the IronSpeed references. And what I did is I created a up here I created a new website and as you have developer express you'll see an empty website and that's the one I choose and I gave it a name and you click OK you can use Visual Basic and C Sharp whichever one you would like when I created the website developer express put all his references into my uh, web config file. Once I created the website, it did not create a web page. So what it did is I went in and added new, and you can go to web form and create a default uh, ASPX page, either in Visual Basic or C Sharp. Both, both works. Once I created the web page, it created the default ASPX page. And as you notice, I have a grid on here, an AXP, uh, AXPX uh, uh, grid view control. And the way you get to that is you go up to the developer express and you drag and drop uh, ASPX grid view onto the page. Once you do that, uh, you should know Developer Express controls, but I'll give you just an example. Um, you can go up and you can choose the data source, and we'll show you how to do that in a second. And you can show a pager, uh, show group panel, and enable uh, editing, which I did not show, uh, enable inserting, which I did not show, as well as enable section, which I did show and deleting and filtering which I did not show. The important thing is is that you pick the theme and I picked the Office 2003 Olive theme for this uh, application. There are a ton of when it comes to Developer Express there are a ton of properties that you can use and I'm not going to get into that uh, just basically I want to show you how to get this, app, this uh, control into Iron Speed Designer and show you how easy it is. And this is the design view. And if we go to the source view, you'll see that control. And here is the control. It also shows the thing, the width, and the database. And all I did, if we go back to the design view, is go and drop a SQL Server data source and gave it a name of demo DB on the page. And I what I did is I connected it to the Softwind database, Windows 2000 or uh, SQL Server 2008. Um, I also took all the columns and basically that's the select statement select all from uh, customers here it shows the preview of all the customers in their data on the test and I hit finish that's all I did and now you have your data source and you have your uh, data grid view and you notice that it has its theme already um, portraying and let's run it see what it looks like in uh, the developer 2010 Express. Nicely, nicely done. And as you notice, I have all the columns and the rows 
that are consistent with the customer's database in the SoftWin database. And here's the paging mechanism where I can page and go through and this will go on the iron speed very nicely. Okay, now that I'm done with that, now to place this uh, data grid into uh, Iron Speed Designer, and we need to go to uh, the source. And the way to do this is you copy and paste the control, it's pretty much highlighted, with the data source. So, just do the copy and paste. You hit copy. And let's go back to Iron Speed. And we can go to our page. And as you can see, I have copied it over. Here is the control and the data source. Now, this is kind of important. You can continue to use the same data source, but why do that? There's already a reference to the data source in your Iron Speed Designer uh, application. So what I did is I went here and I got the name of the uh, connection string and I went back over here and I made the connection string equal to the con connection string name which is the database customer demo one and the, the select command would be uh, to select everything from customers pretty simple huh well it is so once we've got that in there uh, it should run very nicely but remember that the web config has to have all the references otherwise you would need to reference uh, the developer express in the page since uh, our uh, web config references all the assemblies and the GAC, which is the global access, we don't need to do it in the page, which is pretty cool because uh, when you have hundreds of pages, if you have to make a correction or you have to make an update, it's really uh, asinine. So this is really nice. Okay, now that we have our control on the page of the page we created, which is called the customer grid.aspx. And the way you create a page in Iron Speed Designer, well, I'm pretty sure that you're uh, familiar with that, is you go new and you create blank page. Now, if you want to create the page from a, a um, um, well, actually, it's using uh, the vertical menu or the horizontal menu, but on this page, it's just basically a, a, a blank page. Now, you can create uh, it to reference a master page. That's up to you, okay? But uh, I create it just bas basically a blank page. And I can give that blank page a name, just like anybody else. And we'll go up and go to page and hit display. And we'll call this, instead of blank page, we'll call this customer demo page and we hit OK so when this page comes up it'll say customer demo page instead of customer or basically a blank page okay so eventually we'll do the live preview to see if it works and I build mine using um, IIS but you can also build it using the developer uh, server, but IAS works better for me. So let's run this on the live preview, see what happens. Start to build it, and now it's starting to make the page. Wow, look at that. All those things that you saw in Visual Studios, now it's in Iron Speed Designer. And for instance, if you want to drag and drop a column header for a group, oh look at that, it works. Drop it back, say if you want to do it by email, take it back, whoops, there we go. And the 
paging mechanism works the, exactly the same. Beautiful. Look at that. Works great. Now, let's make this a part of uh, the Iron Speed group, and we'll make this the start page. And all you have to do is set as web start page. And we'll run the application, and the grid should pop up in the website. Look at that. Really nicely done. Really easy. So, let's kind of summarize what we've done. The first thing we did was create an Iron Speed Designer uh, customer's database uh, application. And within that uh, application, we displayed a list of customers uh, from the SoftWind database. Continuing, we created a Visual Studios or a Visual Studios Express uh, application uh, using a brand new web uh, blank page uh, using uh, Developer Express. We created the um, web config file that has all the references, assemblies, and etc. to facilitate uh, the controls for Developer Express and we use that to put that into Iron Speed Designer's uh, web config so that it would do the same. Once we created the web page, um, we imported the uh, Developer Express control and we set the theme and we took that um, information and we imported it into Iron Speed Designer very easily. The same uh, conditions and the same uh, methodology that it runs when it runs on um, Developer Express or Visual Studios, it also runs in Iron Speed Designer, which shows that the control works um, either way. Once we got the control into Iron Speed Designer, uh, we confirm the web config, uh, we set our data source or our database connection string, and we basically ran the application. Once we ran the application, we saw that the uh, data grid responds the same way that it responds into Visual Studios and Developer Express and the application runs very nicely. So I'd like to thank you uh, for participating in this um, session of adding a third-party control to Iron Speed Designer and you saw how easy it is uh, to import uh, that third uh, party control into Iron Speed Designer and have it work uh, pretty much the same as in Visual Studios or any other application. So, with that ado, I'd like to wrap up and say thank you and you have a nice day.